guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would just do a really quick drugstore uh, makeup look for you guys today. So all these products are going to be from the drugstore and let's get started. So I'm going to start with my um, Cover Girl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I'm just going to use that on the damp beauty blend. This is just a really quick easy look because I'm just running errands today so it's not really that big of a deal how fantastic my makeup is. I'm just going to press that into the skin and I go over my eyelids as well. And then make sure you drag that down your neck. And then wherever I need a little bit more coverage, which is always my chin, I go back in with just a few more pumps and go over that area a second time and around my nose because that's where women tend to get the most redness okay once I've done that I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind. I do the color um, Fair and then I go on top of it with just the brightening one. So if you can see those there. So I start off with Fair and I just do that in my triangle motion under the eye and bring it into that inner corner. Don't forget your inner corner because that's where the most purple or discoloration will tend to shine through. Do that in my triangle motion, a little bit in my forehead, down the center of my nose, and then my lip there. This blends out really beautifully. This is my favorite drugstore concealer. And then right on top of that, I go in with the brightener. It's in 06 Brightener Illuminator. And I just do that right on top. Just a little bit of this goes a long way. And then I'm going to take that damp beauty blender again and just blend that out. And sometimes I'll go just right under the cheekbone. Since I'm not going to do too much highlight and contour today, it's just going to add a little bit of interest to the face. Alright, then to set that, I'm just going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I carry this around in my purse with me, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Blush Brush, which I use as a powder brush. And I just kind of press that into the skin. Just to kind of set everything. And then I do a little extra in the nose area. And my forehead where I tend to get the most oily and then drag that down your neck as well. Alright, it was kind of a challenge for me to do a whole drugstore because I don't have that much drugstore blush and contour and everything like that. Um, so I did find my CoverGirl True Magic Sun Kiss Bronzer in 110. Um, it's like a cream. So I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques um, contour brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of that on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to go right underneath my cheekbones really lightly. Like I'm barely using any pressure at all. And just a bit on the top of the forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that all in. Because I was trying to do a drugstore challenge and I don't have any drugstore blush, this is just what I'm going to use to kind of give myself a little bit of color. And I'm actually going to go in with my Revlon Color Burst Lip, Lip Lacquer in 105, which is Demure Reserve. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a little bit. I'm going to wipe off that buffing brush. And I'm going to dab that. And I'm going to put that just right on my cheek, on, this, on the apple of my cheek. Just to give me a little bit of color there and a little bit of shine. Because, like I said, I don't have any drugstore blushes. And 
lip glosses and lipsticks are really nice um, multi-use that you can use it on your cheeks. Some people even use them on their... Um, that's just going to give us just a hint of color there. And it looks really natural and radiant on the skin. And glowy and dewy. Just pretty during, during the winter months. Alright, then I'm going to go in for brows. Um, I have the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color, I don't know what, blonde. I can't stand this, just P.S. What is up with this wand? It makes your brows, like the end of the wand is just too big for me. I, I've tried it every kind of way, I just do not like it. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use the spoolie on my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I'm just going to kind of brush the color onto my Anastasia Brow Wiz spoolie. And I'm just going to fill my brows in this way. I'm not doing a full brow today because I'm just going to run errands. So it's really not that serious. This is just a quick, easy five minute and you're out the door makeup routine. But it is allowing me to have at least a little bit of color there. And fill my brows in which need to be done horribly, so please excuse that. I go to the Anastasia Brow Wiz counter in Nordstrom. The girl is amazing. Um, but if you miss your appointment or you have to reschedule, it is so hard to get back in with her. If you have an Anastasia around you, I would highly recommend that they do your brows, especially in Houston. She's amazing. Alright, so once we've got those just kind of semi-filled in, nothing big, nothing fabulous. I'm wearing pink today, um, so I was going to try to do one of those color tattoos for you guys. So this is going to be the only product that is not drugstore. And this is a Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop. Um, I love these cream shadows. These are so easy when you're in a rush and you just need something that looks like you did something on the lid. Um, I have these... Um, from MAC, I've got all different kind of formulations of cream shadows. Um, they're just gorgeous, they're easy, and like you can see right now, it's taking me two seconds. I'm focusing that just on the lid, and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, Duo Fiber Blending Brush, and I'm just going to blend that out up into the crease area. Because I really just want to focus that color on the lid. Because like I said, today is like a really easy, quick day. And then I'm going to take that same thing and use the pointed, the end of it, and just do a little bit. Underneath my lash line, I'm going to take that same brush and just kind of blend it down. Alright, once I do that, I'm going to go in with my lip. So today I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate in color 63 East End Snob. It's just a really pretty pink color. And these uh, Rimmel lip liners are so cheap and they are amazing. I'm just going to fill my whole lip in with that. And then I'm going to go back, back in with that uh, Revlon Color Burst that we used on our cheeks. And I'm just going to fill the lip in with that for a little bit of gloss. And then to just finish off this really quick and easy makeup look all from the drugstore, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Flex Mascara in black. I love Rimmel Mascara. It's pretty much you can't go wrong with them. Any one you use, you're going to love. And I do my little wipe off trick where I wipe off the excess. From the wand. I love this because it's got that big fat wand. So it really gives you some volume and some drama to the lash. And I'm not even curling the lashes today because like I said, I mean we're I'm going to the grocery store, so it's not really that serious. It's still a really pretty look. And this literally, if I wasn't on camera, would take me five minutes.
And since we're not doing liner, just make sure you really coat those lashes. And there you have it, guys. That's our five-minute face, all drugstore products. I hope y'all like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more drugstore um, makeup tutorials. And um, please comment down below if there's any other videos that you'd like to see. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.